Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This can be a weekly reading. This reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for the week of November 11th through the 17th. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, this reading may not be for you. What have we got for Virgo? I see the Nine of Wands. You may be dealing with dealing with some challenges this week. You could be dealing with some sort of uh, deception. Okay. Seven of Swords. There could be some, some some sort of deception here. Some sort of lies. You could be dealing with a very sneaky individual who thinks they're getting away with something. Could be dealing with a thief. You could be dealing with, uh, well, somebody thinks that they are going to get away with something, don't they? They do. Ooh, Page of Pentacles Reverse. You're definitely dealing with somebody that lacks integrity. Okay? This person lacks focus. This Now, keep in mind, whoever's watching this, this reading can go vice versa. We have a very sneaky individual here who lacks focus, lacks concentration. This person is lazy. They don't have any stability. They're not stable. They're not solid. They're not secure. They may they may pretend that they are, but they're not. Now, this is a dead end. The Page of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, now this is the end of a painful situation. Somebody has been suffering. This is liberation. This is freedom. There's definitely been some betrayal here. Somebody may have stolen something. There could be some thieving going on. Just saying. Ooh, Ten of Wands reversed. This is dropping something, dropping something, a heavy burden. Somebody has been overwhelmed, but something is being dropped. This is making a conscious change to let something go. Oh, we got a false contract here. Somebody has been holding on to a false contract, something that isn't meant to be. It's not compatible. There could be an argument coming up or there could be a breakup even. Somebody may have been cheating. This could be cheating. There's definitely some lies, but this is the end of a painful situation. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's no relationship growth. Okay, there's like there's a relationship that is going nowhere. There's no growth here. This is no growth, and this is being let go. Somebody is, and this is freedom, and this is freedom. So somebody is being broken free from a deceptive situation that is based on a lie. This right here is not compatible. It's not meant to be. It's not a match made in heaven. There's nothing solid about it. There's no relationship growth. It's being let go. Woohoo! The tower. So somebody may have been trying to avoid this, trying to avoid change, but you can't avoid it when the tower shows up with any of these cards, whether they're reversed or not, they're here. So there's going to be a disruption or some major upheaval or major chaos that is coming in that is going to force a change. Somebody has been trying to avoid it. They've been trying to avoid this universal change, holding this is a false relate this is a false partnership, a false relationship. I can't make it up. There's an absence of connection here. There's an absence, there's no connection. No real divine connection here. 
somebody could be lying and pretending and saying that there is, but there's not. It's not real. Oh, five of cups reversed. Now this is beginning to realize the truth, beginning to see that there's a better opportunity. You may be beginning to see that. I hope you are. Beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity here. Coming out of the darkness, realizing that there's no, this is realizing there's no compatibility here. Maybe it's time to ask for some help. We do have a cycle that is completing in your life and you may feel conflicted about letting it end. You probably are feeling conflicted. Maybe you're feeling cheated. Maybe you're feeling cheated out of a situation. Maybe you're feeling robbed. That's what that kind of feels like. It feels like... Uh, Oh, there's definitely some sort of tension. There's disruption, there's discomfort. Let me focus this in. Reluctant to take a new approach. We got somebody here that is staying in a troubled situation. Maybe it's because they don't feel like they can build their own foundation. Staying, This is a false foundation. This is a false contract. This is a false relationship. I mean, I can't make it up. So we have a false sense of security here that is being wiped out. It is. It's being wiped out. What I just saw was like a cyclone. Seriously. And it's funny. I, I didn't even, I saw it, but then I didn't see it. But here we do. It's like this thing just, it just comes in and it wipes out this foundation. It wipes out everything. It's like a wipe out. Whatever that means. Ooh, there's going to be a message that is delivered that you do not want to hear. So this is, this is a message that you don't want to hear. This is, this is somebody speaking the truth and it may br bring about some sort of conflict um, we could have something to do with children Virgo there could be conflict with the children there could be a lot of memories about the past here but it's like there's no going back there's something that it's like there's they're not there's no going back um, these there no no okay it's like you may, the Ten of Pentacles reverse, this, there's, there's family feuds here. You may be dealing with a family feud this week. That probably is the case. So you probably are dealing with a family feud that has to do with children. You're probably thinking about, or, you, or you're being forced to, to deal with some sort of universal change. Something is needing to be let go of that is too heavy to hold on to. It's like you can't hold on to it, even if you try. You can't fight gravity. You're probably feeling cheated or feeling robbed. You may, may have thought that this was the perfect match or this was the right connection, but it just isn't meant to be. I feel like somebody has been crying over a loss, but it's time to realize that there is a better option here. That is what the meaning of the Five of Cups is. It's you crying over a loss, but there is a better option. There is a better option, okay? Um, this is coming out of abandonment. Somebody have, has been abandoned. I feel as though um, it could be a child that has aban been abandoned or you're fear fearful of that, fearful of abandonment. There's definitely abandonment issues here. This is a reluctance to move on, a reluctance to take a new approach. Um, there could be some innocent children that are in the mix here because this is innocent children. I never have said that with this card. That's what I saw. I feel like there's definitely issues on the home front where things are not stable. They are not secure. Um, and there's going to be a message delivered that you don't want to hear. So let's see what this is. 
Um, could be dealing with a Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini. I've already said the other ones. What is this page of pen? Page of Swords right here. This Page of Swords may not be being loved. And that's where the truth comes out. There's no love here. There's no relationship growth. There's no growth. There could be illness. Oh, jeez, some crow. Somebody has not been treated fairly. Could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody hasn't been treated fairly. Somebody hasn't been getting the justice that they deserve. There, has, there hasn't been um, fair treatment at all. Somebody's not being treated fairly in a relationship. But this is a card of freedom. The Ten of Wands reverse. It is freedom. Somebody may feel like they're about to collapse because this is too much. This is unfair. This is really unfair. You may receive a message that makes you feel like something is unfair. There's an untrustworthy individual here. Um... There could be somebody that is hurting another person, doesn't feel, doesn't care. Whew. Oh my God, there's some abuse. Somebody is being abused. This is abuse. Oh, son of a bitch. I, I don't like it at all. Somebody is being abused badly. Mental abuse, verbal abuse, neglect. Mean, cold-hearted. Somebody is dealing with a very cold-hearted individual who does not care about feelings at all. They act... There's, there's no growth. Somebody's not growing. Somebody is not growing effectively. They haven't been nurtured. They haven't been taken care of. It could have to do with a child or children. But somebody's about to put in effort. Somebody's about to do something about it. This is putting in effort. This is hard work pays off. This is proving themselves. Somebody is going to put in effort and take action. This person takes action. This person is a leader. This person is a boss. This person may be a business owner. This person has the skills to, to be the boss and take action. I feel like we have somebody here that decides to take this into their own hands. There is a mother that is not really a mother. She has not been nurturing and taking care of her child or her children. And she's been allowing abuse and um, somebody's going to take action. There's definitely been no growth. There's probably somebody that has been sick, been getting ill. There's illness, there's sadness, and there's definitely no growth. So I feel as though we do have somebody. Could, and I don't know if this is work-related or what, because this is a boss. The King of Wands symbolizes a boss. So it's like the boss is going to take over. The boss is going to take action. Whoever the boss is, the boss is about to step into step into the the uh, showroom or whatever the case is and take action because whoever hasn't been nurturing these children or the situation whoever it is is about to get a, a whip lashing I don't know where that came from but anyway um, there's been a really a really big injustice here somebody hasn't been being treated fairly there's some sort of abuse whether it's mental abuse verbal abuse emotional abuse 
could be emotional abuse, could be emotional blackmail, whatever it is, this is abuse. There's no growth. It's seriously, no growth. The, 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 the Something is not growing as it should. And this is the loss. So there could be the loss. There could, it could be a loss of a child. Somebody could be losing a child because they didn't eat right or they didn't uh, take care of the children or whatever the case. I don't know what is going on here, but I don't like it at all. And I feel as though there's definitely something that is unhealthy. There could be an unhealthy mother or an unhealthy child or something like that. And and the, this could be the father or the boss that steps in. I don't know. Um, but this is the boss. There is divided loyalty here. Somebody is torn as to which way to go, what they should do. I feel like somebody has been in denial. Okay, this is denial, avoiding Somebody may be, have been avoiding the truth because of the, the assets, the home, whatever. Somebody has been avoiding stepping up to the plate. Maybe because they don't have the money or they don't have the resources or whatever the case is. They've been reluctant to take a new approach. We do have a Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. This person may not have the, the resources, um, the money, whatever. The, the stability, the security to to do what they to move to do what they need to do to to protect to serve to to do whatever the, it is that they need to do it feels like somebody here doesn't have the 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 money to to deal with it um i do feel virgo as though this week you may feel like you are probably robbed you may feel like you have been defeated or lied to or cheated by somebody um Somebody has not been treated fairly. That is for damn sure. Um, there's been no growth. Somebody is in an unhealthy partnership or an unhealthy relationship with somebody that does not take care of them. This person may not know their value. Both of these. Lack of value. You know, sometimes people stay in a false relationship because they don't know their value. They think they can't take care of themselves when they really can. They just don't have that mental strength. You know, they don't realize that they can, so they stay in an unhealthy relationship. And and while they think that they're protecting their children, they're not. Because if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. You know, it's not do it. It's also teaching your children to stay in an unhealthy relationship. Don't think that when they're 30 and they look back, they won't know because they will. And then they'll do the same thing. Is that what you would want for your children? Just saying. Would you want your children to stay in an unhealthy relationship just because? Children tend to follow in their parents' footsteps. Anyhow, I don't know where that came out from. But anyway, um, I could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We have Libra here as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We definitely have somebody here who doesn't know their value. That's very clear. Somebody that makes poor financial decisions. Somebody that probably doesn't have any money. Doesn't know how to save money. Doesn't have a stable home here. And, and maybe... This person is is not seeing, because the blindfold is on, not seeing that there's a, a good opportunity here. This person just could be being unrealistic. There could be jealousy. There could be stubbornness. There could be, you know, very much stubbornness, you know. This is not good news. Somebody's not going to be receiving good news. Whoever they're dealing with, this person has a self-image problem. It could be the, the mother that's not a mother may have a self-image problem. I don't know. This person has a body image problem. No growth. Um, this is the end of, a, of some sort of relationship that is coming up. There's no happiness here. I just got to be honest with you. There could be a split. 
There definitely could be a split in the next week. There's no happiness. There's definitely no growth either. It's just not meant to be. There's no coming together. There's no compromising. There's, uh, there's going to be some sort of uh, frustration. Somebody's going to be very frustrated that it's basically like there's nothing that they can do to change this. Um, judgment Day is upon us. Absolutely it is. So Judgment Day is coming. This is, a, this is an epiphany. Somebody is going to receive a wake-up call. Somebody is going to receive an epiphany. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed that changes everything. It does. And I feel like there's it's out of your control. I feel like you are going to feel like this is unfair, that you have been cheated. And I'm sorry to say that. I've, whether it's you or the other person, because this can go vice versa. There's the end of a contract here that is not meant to be. It is not compatible. And there's probably going to be a reconciliation with who I do not know. Um, this is some sort of reconciliation. Some sort of truth being revealed in a judgment call being made. There is definitely going to be a judgment call. And this is a card of karma. It is a car card of karma. So karma, and this is too. So we have some karmic, some karma here. We have a woman, a feminine that doesn't or didn't put in effort because the Eight of Pentacles is down there when she should have. And perhaps there's going to be a loss. There's the putting in effort she should have. This is the loss. Perhaps, I mean, I don't know. There is going to be a revelation, a reveal. Something is Something that has been hidden is going to be revealed. A secret is going to be revealed. And it could make you feel very lost. This is lost, feeling empty. This is unfinished business, a lack of closure. Change is coming. One cycle is ending, whether you like it or not. It's like you. there's nothing you can do. There's no victory here. It's like you don't, there's no victory. You may feel like it's not a victory. But... This is all happening for a purpose. There's a reason. Somebody's, somebody's destination is changing. This is a lucky break. Consider this a lucky break. This is all about fate, karma, and destiny and what is meant to be and what is not meant to be. Because this is, this is not meant to be. This is meant to be. This is karma. This is karma, this is karma, destiny, and fate. So this whole week is going to be a very karmic week for you. There is a contract that is coming to an end. And moving you, or moving somebody in a new direction. It could be very intense. It could be very emotional. There could be some frustrations here. There could be some tears. There's been some abandonment issues. And I think it's all about to be revealed. So that's what I got. Virgo, let's get one of these. One card for Virgo, please. Somebody has been treated unfairly, and I think that there is going to be a... There could be legal issues here. There's going to be a judgment made. Okay, be prepared for judgment. Be prepared for... for uh, something to change. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. 
Somebody could be filing for divorce. There could be some upcoming court proceedings. This is court. This is court. So be prepared. One more card, please. I'm sure you are prepared. Keep in mind it's all about love and stability. Deceit. Somebody has been deceiving. Somebody has been lying. Somebody's been hiding the truth. And this is the week where the truth is revealed. Be prepared. To deal with some disruption and some discomfort that you have been avoiding. Good luck. 